Okay friends, it's time to get started on our transfer case shift motor. To do this, you're going to want to gain access under the center of the vehicle. Once you're under here, you want to go ahead and apply some support directly underneath the transfer case. If you're using a jack of some sort, something metal, make sure you don't damage it. Typically it's a good idea to use wood in between the jack and the transfer case. Now that I have a little bit of pressure on that, we're going to continue on to removing our 18 millimeter headed bolt. The 18 millimeter headed bolt is on the passenger side of this transfer case bracket. To gain access to this, typically you can use an 18 millimeter socket, a swivel, and a long extension. Now if you need to, you can either raise or lower the transfer case to be able to pull this bolt out. Now once you have that bolt so it's loose, we're going to continue on to our two 13 millimeter headed bolts that are on the passenger side. You'll find one directly up in this hole. We'll make our way up in here with our 13. Now that we have both of those out, let's do the same thing on the driver's side. Now once I get my socket on this last bolt, I'm going to make sure I'm holding the cross beam so it can't fall down and potentially hurt me. Let's get that 18 millimeter bolt out of there. Now we can take this and hang it down. Now so we can have easier access, let's make our way to the heat shield. You're going to find one 10 millimeter headed bolt for this corner. We'll remove that bolt and lower this down. With all that lowered and out of the way, we have a nice clear view of the actuator motor. Now there is going to be some wiring that you're going to have to disconnect. We'll start with the smaller wire. For that, I'll use a small pick. Right along the driver's side of this connector, you're going to find a clip that you can carefully get underneath, gently pry it up, and separate the wiring. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, take a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion, and that would need to be dealt with. Now let's move along to our larger connector. To remove this connector, I'm going to come over this area and press it in. As I do this, this side right here will lift up, and then I should be able to separate this. If when you press on this area, it doesn't lift far enough, just come in through here and gently pry. Corrosion check, set it aside. All right, at this point, we can start removing the motor assembly from the transfer case. To do that, you're gonna find four E10 mounting bolts. Let's go ahead and remove each of those. Essentially, those are inverted torques. Looks like a star. Start with this one that's up high.
Now, as we remove this final bolt, make sure you're holding on to the actuator so it doesn't fall and potentially hurt you. Let's grab onto that actuator and carefully remove it from the transfer case. Let's take our new motor and put it on the bench. You're gonna notice it came with a brand new sensor. Looking at the back side of the sensor, you can tell that it has this angled area. That angled area needs to fit into this area and the bolt hole needs to line up as well. Now, once you have it in there, go ahead and put in your mounting bolt, start it in by hand so you're sure it's not gonna cross thread and then make sure it's nice and tight. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's completely secured, and now we can get back over to the vehicle. Back over at the vehicle, let's continue on by wiping this down. Now we can put our motor in place. Once you have it pressed on there, continue on with your mounting bolts. We're gonna start in each of the four mounting bolts by hand. Make sure they all start in at least a few threads and then you can tighten them up. After you've snugged them, we'll continue torquing these to 22 Newton meters. Now, once you've torqued each of these to 22 Newton meters, continue on with your wiring harnesses. We'll take this small one and slide it into place. Listen for a click, give it a tug. That feels good. Continue on to your larger one. Slide that in, listen for that click, give that a tug as well. Now let's carefully raise our transfer case into its original position. Now let's flex our heat shield back into position, line up our mounting bolt hole, and put in our mounting bolt. Make sure your heat shield's secure. Now let's grab our cross member. We're gonna attempt to align all four of our mounting bolts that go through the cross member, holding it to the body. 
We'll start in all four of the mounting bolts, but not tighten them. Now let's pause on this, leaving them loose, and we'll continue on with our through bolt that comes through from this bracket into the other that's attached to the transfer case. Just guide it through with my finger here. Now it is possible that you may either need to raise or lower the transfer case to get this to line up properly. Just keep that in mind. Make sure we start that in by hand. You definitely do not want to cross thread this in. Let's make sure this is nice and tight. Now that we have all of these started in, we'll bottom them out and then we'll torque each of them to 21 Newton meters. Now we're going to torque our 18 millimeter through bolt to 78 Newton meters. Now once you have everything torqued accordingly, continue on by removing your supporting jack. Okay friends, we got the car back together. At this point, go ahead and slide out from underneath it. Start up the vehicle, take it for a road test, and make sure it functions properly. Thanks for watching.